everyone. I'm Peter Boykin, and I'm a constitutionalist for liberty. And today, I want to shed light on the bloodbath that is currently underway. Not of violence in the streets, but of our constitutional rights being systematically eroded. As an activist and former political candidate and citizen journalist, it's my duty to bring attention to the dangers we face and this digital age. We live in a time where the very principles of our Constitution, including the freedom of the press, are under assault. But what happens when the press itself becomes corrupted? When partisan interests collude with social media giants to spread lies and distortions, the American people are misled and the truth becomes a casualty. Welcome to the world where truth is a scarce commodity and deception reigns supreme. As we navigate the treacherous waters of the modern media, it becomes abundantly clear that the very institutions tasked with informing us have been hijacked by partisan agendas and nefarious actors. Recently, we've witnessed a disturbing trend the manipulation of facts and the distortion of reality to serve a political narrative. The recent, quote, bloodbath hoax propagated by the media and certain political figures is a prime example of this deception. A single phrase taken out of context, twisted to fit a narrative, and unleashed upon the public to sow fear and discord. Just a single line uttered by Donald Trump, taken out of context, became the focal point of a malicious smear campaign orchestrated by the Biden White House and amplified by complicit media outlets. But we refuse to be deceived. But let's pause for a moment and dissect the deception. Trump's words, quote, If I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. We're not a call to arms or a threat of violence, as some would have you believe. No, they were a metaphorical reference to the potential economic consequences of certain policy decisions. A point made abundantly clear when viewed in the full context of his remarks. Yet the fake news mafia in collusion with social media giants, seized upon this isolated phrase to perpetuate a narrative of impending chaos and unrest. They peddled sensationalist headlines devoid of context, preying on the fears and insecurities of the American people. And in doing so, they betrayed the very principles of journalism they claimed to uphold. My friends, the dangers of a government colluding with social media to suppress free speech have never been more apparent. We've seen this playbook before. Whether it's the COVID restrictions that trampled on our First Amendment rights with their use of heavy-handed restrictions on personal rights under the guise of, quote, medical care, or the ongoing assault on free speech in the digital realm, with that target being TikTok today and who knows next. And now, once again, we face a similar threat to our liberties, as partisan actors seek to manipulate public opinion and silence dissenting voices. But as a constitutionalist for liberty, I refuse to stand idly by while our rights are being stripped away. But fear not, for there is hope on the horizon. As a constitutionalist for liberty, I am committed to exposing the lies and corruption that threaten our constitutional rights. Through the expansion of constitutionalists for liberty, we shall shine a light on the dangers of government overreach and media manipulation ensuring that the voices of the American people are heard loud and clear. Through platforms like GoRightNews.com 
and our expanding network of activists, we will shine a light on the dangers facing our Constitution. We will hold the media and politicians accountable for their lies and manipulations, and we will fight tirelessly to preserve the freedoms that define our nation. Conservatives, it's time to reclaim the word conserve. It's time to stand up for limited government, less intrusion into our lives, and the preservation of our freedoms under the Constitution. And it's up to each and every one of us to ensure that those rights are upheld no matter the cost. So let us rise up together in defense of truth and liberty. Let us reject the lies and propaganda that seek to divide us. And let us never forget that the power of the people will always triumph over the forces of tyranny and oppression. It's time to stand up against the bloodbath on our constitutional rights. And together, let's ensure that the principles of our Constitution endear for generations to come. Thank you, and God bless America. Currently, there is a article on GoRightNews.com called Trump's Words Twisted, Exposing the Bloodbath Hoax. Starting with the quote, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Now let's debunk the bloodbath hoax. Amidst the canopy of political rhetoric and media manipulation, A recent rally speech by Donald Trump in Dayton, Ohio, has ignited a firestorm of controversy, with detractors seizing upon a single line to perpetuate a malicious smear campaign against the former president. However, a closer examination of the full context reveals a blatant distortion of Trump's words, orchestrated by the Biden White House and echoed by complicit media outlets. Let's talk about Trump's rally rhetoric. During his impassioned 90-minute address, Trump addressed a range of pressing issues, including the future of the auto manufacturing industry. Amidst his remarks, Trump made a reference to potential consequences for the industry in the event of his electoral defeat, stating, quote, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. However, this statement, when viewed holistically, was clearly framed within the context of trade policy and economic strategy, rather than a call to violence or unrest. Now, here are Trump's bloodbath comments that the corrupt left-wing media has taken out of context. They want to do this all electric nonsense where the cars don't go far, they cost too much, and they're all made in they're all made in China. And the head of the United Auto Workers never probably shook hands with a Republican before. They're destroying you know, Mexico has taken over a period of thirty years thirty four percent of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now And you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now. We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine 
All he does is build car manufacturing plants. He's the biggest in the world. I mean, honestly, I joke. Clarifying the context. Upon closer scrutiny of Trump's remarks, it becomes evident that his reference to a, quote, bloodbath was a metaphorical allusion to the potential economic ramifications of certain policy decisions. Specifically, Trump outlined his intention to impose tariffs on imported vehicles from China, highlighting the economic repercussions that would ensure if such measures were not enacted under his leadership. Trump said this on social media. The fake news media and their Democratic partners and the destruction of our nation pretended to be shocked at my use of the word bloodbath, even though they fully understood that I was simply referring to imports allowed by crooked Joe Biden, which are killing the automobile industry. The United Auto Workers, but not their leadership, fully understand what I mean with the electric car mandate being pushed by Biden there soon won't be any cars made in the USA unless I'm elected president in which case auto manufacturing will thrive like never before MAGA 2024 dissecting the deception despite the clarity of Trump's intended meaning Detractors on the left wasted no time in seizing upon the isolated phrase to propagate a false narrative of impending chaos and violence. Media outlets such as Politico shamelessly twisted Trump's words, peddling sensationalist headlines devoid of context, while political figures like Nancy Pelosi indulged in theatrical performances of feigned concern further perpetuating the misinformation campaign. Now let's unmask the truth. Fortunately, platforms such as X, formerly Twitter, and Rumble have emerged as bastons of free speech, providing a platform for disseminating factual information and debunking false narratives. Prominent figures like Elon Musk have utilized these platforms to share insights and expose the manipulation tactics employed by legacy media outlets. The guarding millions of views and countering the spread of misinformation. Now the bloodbath hoax serves as a sobering reminder of the links of which partisan actors will go manipulate public perception and undermine political adversaries. As the battle for narrative control rages on, the imperative of critical thinking and media literacy becomes increasingly apparent, underscoring the importance of seeking out reliable sources and examining information in its full context. The source of this article, posted on Go Right News, is Politico, Fox News, Independent UK, and the National Pulse. And we'll leave you with this. As much as the media has been talking about Donald Trump's use of bloodbath, you know that that same media would absolutely not use the word bloodbath. Here's a compilation put together about their use of the word bloodbath. Enjoy. God bless. And stand up for freedom. But as Politico.com reports tonight on the, quote, bloodbath at the RNC. Headlines calling it a, quote, bloodbath. Yeah, bloodbath. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really and tough. Trump has left a lot of corpses in his wake. I mean, we yeah. can count the bodies as part of the, quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Columnist Charles Blow has a new piece for the New York Times entitled A Biden Bloodbath. 2018 midterms, you can bet that they 100% are fearing a slaughter. In fact, yeah. the word blood. Yeah. 
wrath and massacre come up frequently. The Republican Party will be destroyed. It's going to be a bloodbath. There's going to be a bloodbath one way or the other. Bloodbath for Bernie Sanders. It's been a bloodbath there, shaping up to be a bloodbath. Head off a bloodbath in next year's crucial midterm. Off-year elections are often a bloodbath. This week's bloodbath for Democrats, a bloodbath at the ballot box. There could be a Republican bloodbath. They'll talk about a bloodbath. It's a bloodbath. I have to talk about you. And it's going to be a bloodbath all day long. Is in for a bloodbath. Hasn't been a bloodbath on the way down. Donald Trump bloodbath be a bloodbath predicted to be a bloodbath may not be the bloodbath it would be a bloodbath more of a bloodbath it's going to be a bloodbath in november possible biden bloodbath this november a bloodbath on wall street this can be a bloodbath and in, in alabama into a bloodbath obviously there was a bloodbath it was a bloodbath we're down 800 points this bloodbath at department of homeland security and it's a bloodbath today there was going to be this bloodbath election bloodbath it, it could be a bloodbath for them bloodbath possibly bloodbath that went through with the attorney general bloodbath 99 days out the bloodbath is going to look like presided over a bloodbath in the diplomatic corps salute in my opinion blood 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 bloodbath the democrats are falling in a ticket sales turned into a bloodbath ticket sales for singer taylor swift's latest tour it's safe to say the fans had a, a bloodbath for the company after the fiasco